Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here with the project for cat scrappiness. Today I'm going to be making a slimline card using some of the newest products including the fluttering by stamps and dies. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In front of me are the main supplies that I'll be using for today's slimline card. Using the new Fluttering By Stamp and Die Set, as well as the Slimline Reverse Scallop Die Set. As I add other products and tools during the process, I will be sure to let you know in the voiceover. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started, I'm going to use a single piece of cardstock to cut my card base and for the piece that I will be blending onto. My finished slim lines, I make them three and a half by five and a half when folded. So since this cardstock is already eight and a half inches wide, I cut one piece to seven inches and this will get folded for the card base. And then from that leftover, I cut it to three and a half inches tall. Now I'm going to decorate that small piece of cardstock and I will be using that solid butterfly and a rainbow of inks to stamp all the way across the bottom. Now because the butterflies will hang off a little bit, I did bring in a piece of grid paper to catch any stray ink. So I can also make sure that all my colors will fit on this piece of cardstock. I'm going to start with the middle two colors, which is the yellow and green. First, I ink my stamp up with the yellow, and I do my best to kind of mark the center and maybe go a little bit over it with the right wing of my butterfly. Then I make sure I clean that up and dry the stamp off before moving on, and I continue my rainbow until all six colors have been stamped across the bottom. For my card today, I want to create an eclipse effect from that stamped piece using the word hope. So I grabbed some of the uppercase condensed alphabet dies from Cat Scrappiness, and I will be using the butterfly outline for the O. To help with the separation of the die cut letters and the bottom piece, I used a scrap of white cardstock and cut the middle frame from that. Here's a look at everything die cut. I did make sure to keep the inside of the letter P and I am loving the stitching on the reverse scallop frame. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but this is a super quick card. All of the pieces are now ready that we're just going to assemble it. The first thing I do is adhere the stamp piece to the front of my card base, which I had scored and folded off camera. And to do this, I use the combination of tape runner and liquid glue. Once that was adhered, I added the center of my letter P and then I added the scalloped frame. This just got some liquid glue and adhered flat to the front center of the card. To make the eclipse effect, I do need a shadow behind these die cuts. Now I could have layered up multiple cardstock beneath this, but instead I chose to use some foam tape. So I put some thin strips on the back of each letter and onto the back of the butterfly. Then once I removed the release paper, I lined these up as best as I could over those die cut openings. Now I think the frame and that foam tape helps kind of tell the difference between my die cut and the background and makes the word hope a little easier to read. 
At this point, I decided I did want to add the little tail to the butterfly just to help make it more evident that it is a butterfly. And because I already had the card almost completely done, I did have to cross my fingers for this. But luckily, I did use my Misty, so I was able to set the stamp up, ink it up, and get it stamped correctly. To finish the card, I did want to add a little sparkle, so I brought in the Sparkling Snow Pearl Mix from Cat Scrappiness, and off camera I pre-placed five of those around that word hope. To get these put in place, I'm going to put a little dot of art glitter glue, and then place the pearl back on each dot with my jewel picker. I let this sit for about five minutes to dry completely, and here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's quick and easy Rainbow Hope card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.